So I would like to talk about, uh, I'd like to move the discussion about um, substitutions forward. In the previous video, I showed you a substitution using the two. Um, so that would be the substitution for D or that or that. Um, that would be the substitution for G or that or that. And that would be the substitution for A. Um, I am partial to substitutions that omit the third. However, um, I have also fallen in love with that substitution. Now, that is a substitution over the chord of D. And um, uh, it's a major 7 substitution. It's a variation on a major 7. So most people think of D major 7 as, as that. So the D triad with the major 7 at the top. But um, I started, the, the, the more I, I watched videos and the more I talked with uh, keyboard players, I started to realize that they use an even cooler uh, variation on D major 7. Um, if you pedal the D in the bottom, like that, and you hold the A, C sharp, E, F sharp, and A, you enter into a really cool substitution mode that uh, that is very well used, uh, very well worn uh, among jazz players. Um, and so you can use variations on it. I like to use it like that as well. But um, for simplicity of use, especially uh, in worship settings or in uh, settings where there's lots of instruments, I like to play it like that. Now, the only thing about the major 7 substitution is it works in situations where the keyboard is the major instrument and the guitars are sort of playing filler. If you're playing in a situation where the guitars are the lead instrument um, and the keyboard is the filler, the two substitution works better. But this is really cool, especially in situations where you're playing um, in between songs or where the keyboard has a moment to play to play on its own. So let's 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 look at the substitution. We're still in the key of D. D has three major chords: D, uh, G, and A. And so for G, let's do the same thing. We already know the substitution with a two, but. Um, we can also apply the same rules instead of G major 7 like that. We can play G major 7 like that with a D, F sharp, A, B, and D up at the top. You have to use all five fingers. Uh, people with smaller hands are going to have to work a little bit harder to achieve that uh, to achieve that fingering, but it works. And so you can see. That substitution can be broken down like that. Um, for simplicity, I do it like that, or I just do. So that or that will work just fine. Sometimes I even take away the two, and I just do that while pedaling the D, while pedaling the G, sorry. So. thing about the major seventh substitution is that it does not work with the five chord if you if you think of uh, your chord uh, if you think of your chord placement in terms of the Nashville numbering system uh, that is one two three four five six seven and then back to one so um, in the key of D D is the one G is the four A is the five so when I'm uh, when I talk about the five chord, you'll need to work it out for whatever key you're thinking of uh, working the substitution in. The five chord does not work. The uh, the, the major seven does not really work um, as a substitution. It only works for the one and the four. Now, um, pushing the substitutions a little bit further, like I did in the previous video, um, uh, we can also use sparingly that substitution when we're working with uh, minors. So in the key of D, the three minors in the key of D are B minor, E minor, 
and F sharp minor. And um, so in the previous video, I showed you that uh, in the key of uh, in the with in the key of D or in the key of B minor, um, you can use the substitutions of the chord for which D B is the relative minor. So D, the relative minor of D is B. So all the substitutions you can use with the D chord, you can also use them on the B minor chord. All the substitutions that you um, on the E minor chord are substitutions really uh, for the G because I was, I was moving the concept forward and all the substitutions on the F sharp minor are substitutions on the chord of A because uh, because with the exception of the note of F sharp all the other notes are the same as the A triad so uh, moving back to where we were in the key of uh, in the with with B minor um, we can also use the D major 7 substitution as a substitution for B minor and like I said you can only use it sparingly because it is really dense It is really dense, but it works in situations where you want to go with a where you want to go with a jazzier tone to your playing. Again, um, instead of playing just a straight B minor, we can play B minor seven. We can play substitutions on on D, and that works just fine. And same thing with E minor. E minor is the E minor is the relative minor of G, so the G major seven can work on the E minor, or sometimes like that. It has a really, really ethereal, uh, really complex, uh, really dense sound. I like it. Um, and so um, I just did something with the E minor, like that. You can also do it with the with a B minor. Instead of holding the the D major seven like that, you can hold the D chord like that, and then hold it, and then just introduce the the major seven in between. As opposed to that, that will sound uh, more cheesy. This sounds more uh, sophisticated. So that's a very simple way of using substitutions in just the 6, uh, 2, and 3 pattern. So um, I hope that helps you move your sound forward. You'll have to work at it a little bit. You'll have to rewind the video, go over it a little bit slower to, to, to work it out. But I think it'll uh, inject some really good uh, sound into what you're doing. One final substitution that I use almost exclusively. Um, and it's in the major chords. Um, it's it's not really a it's not really a chord substitution in the in the sense that I've been in the way that I've been using it previously. It's more of uh, it's it's more of um, well I'll just explain it to you. Here it is. So in the key of D, um, we hit the four, and then we hit when we hit the five chord before we resolve it. We hit the 5 in the bass and we keep the 4 on the right hand. So I'll just play for you. We'll play a D, then we have a G, then when we hit the 5, we keep the G.
you may have seen it in some of your uh, chord charts. It's a it's a substitution that I use actually almost exclusively. Most of the time when I see the five chord, I just play I just play the four on the top, four chord and the five uh, note on the bass, um, and then I use all the substitutions of the four chord. I the the. The major seven doesn't really work well, but the two does work well. So um, that I, I hope that that helps you. I hope that those substitutions help you. The four on the top and the five on the bottom, and then the major seven on the one and the four, and on the six and the two. So hopefully in uh, upcoming videos, I'll be able to show you uh, some other stuff that has to do with, with some of the runs I was doing and with uh, core transitions. But uh, for now, I hope that you enjoy working those out and I hope that it introduces some new sophistication into what you're playing. Enjoy, God bless, and if you can, send me a video. If you want to, you can uh, email me as well just to, uh, or Facebook me or engage with me through Twitter uh, just to ask me any other questions that you might have about this video. Thanks. God bless. Bye.